But hello everybody, my name is Tupperware Pete, Peter Williams. How are you? I'm going to make tabbouleh. <laughs> I've got all this beautiful curly leaf parsley here. And um, I was going to cook something with it last night. And I thought, you know what? Let's do tabbouleh. I'm not going to do a cracked wheat tabbouleh. I'm going to do quinoa. Quinoa! <laughs> I've got my quinoa. A whole packet of quinoa fits into a modular mate oval number three. These are the OG food storage. Tupperware have been um, producing modular mates for the pantry for 40 years. So this is the brand new. Every now and again, they come out with a dual seal. So how awesome are these? There's, your, there's one seal. There's another seal. So that's your dual seal. They are totally 100%. That didn't click. <laughs> If it's going to go wrong, it'll go live. It'll go wrong live, right? That is 100% airtight because of the Tupperware seal. Um, what Earl Tupper did was he grabbed a paint tin and he flipped the lid upside down, Miss Jane, and that became the basis for the Tupperware seal. All right, so what I'm going to do is I've got the pasta cooker. You know you can cook grains in the pasta cooker as well? So... The trick is don't put the cover on when you're cooking. You put the cover on when you want to drain it. So it's great for pasta, any angel hair, spaghetti, all of those sorts of things. I'm, it's also really good for quinoa. All right. So what I'm going to do is grab a third of a cup of quinoa. I always do one to three for quinoa. Everybody does it differently and everybody's microwave's different. So depending, depending on your microwave and... Also depends on how old the grain is as well. All right, so I'm just going to do one part quinoa to three parts water. So I've got a third of a cup of quinoa and a cup of water. I'm just going to pop that straight into there and I will. Yes, I will be loved. All right, and we will just give that a bit of a mix. And the trick is... Just pop that straight into the microwave, as is. I'm going to pop it in for nine minutes, and then once it comes out, I can pop the cover on and I can drain it, but I can guarantee you there won't be very much water to drain at all. I love quinoa. It's gluten-free. It's one of those superfoods. It's like an old-school food that has been re-discovered, um, and you can. there's so many different varieties of quinoa, just like there is rice, all right? So just shakes it up a little bit. Shake it up. While that's happening, I'm going to use this. What's it called? No need to ask. It's a smooth chopperator. Well, it's a supersonic chopper, but I call it a smooth chopperator. Smooth chopperator. It is a smooth chopperator. All right. These are all the different bits to it. They've reinvented the design. So what you can do is, see this little button here? If you just push that and give that a bit of a twist, that releases the inside workings in here, and they've built in this little um, barricade. There's a little chamber in there. That chamber fills up with water, but the rest of this doesn't. They've reinvented the nylon cord, so they've reinforced that. And if you want to pop that in to air out your cord, you can still do that way, or you can just pop it straight down that way, all right? Now, what you do is, when you click that into place, give that a bit of a twist, and when you get it, this anti-slip grip, which was on the bottom, that comes on the inside. Please wash the product, remove that, apply it to the base. Otherwise, you'll be like a couple of people now have phoned me and gone, I've got all these red bits with my onion. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> That's the anti-slip grip. Please wash the product, remove it, apply it to the base, and then you're right to go. Just remove that if you want to pop it into the dishwasher as well. All right, so we've got that happening in there. I've got... A red onion. I've got my Tupperware Mastro knife, which I'm loving. There's a little protective cover. These are really sharp knives, all right? And it doesn't matter whether you've got a big job in the kitchen or a little job in the kitchen. There is literally a knife. That's the bread knife. There's a, a literally a knife for every job. This one's washed up on the sink. <laughs> There's a job for every um, knife in the kitchen. I'm loving it. All right, so we've got that into there. We've got our red onion. I'm saving the onion skins because one day I'm going to show you how to make onion powder. Um, so I've been just saving all of my onion skins. Um, 
you know, with the cost of food, don't be throwing your food away. This is, you're paying good money for this. <laughs> don't throw it away, right? Turn that into something edible like onion powder, homemade onion powder that's totally preservative free. There's no chemicals in there whatsoever. It's, um, you know, exactly what you're eating, which I love. Um, I've been doing Tupperware almost 30 years, and Tupperware actually taught me all about food. With You actually want to eat healthier with the Tupperware because the Tupperware products make cooking fun and simple. Well, you don't really cook, you assemble, right? So, all I've got in here, I've got my onion. I'm just going to quarter those and just pop them into chunks. We just pop them straight into there. We will pop the top onto that, and then we will grab the top onto there. Now, this is... This is the fun part. Have you ever had this in your house? Oh, can you chop the onions? I don't want to chop the onions. Oh, let's just get takeout. And then, like, not only are you spending money, but it's not really good for you, is it? So, in this supersonic chopper, you will have this conversation in your house. Can I chop the onions? No, you did it last night. I want to have a go. Please, let me chop the onions. It's really easy. And while everyone's arguing, just a few pulls of the cord, <laughs> and there's your onions already chopped, right? How easy is that? That's a rough chop. If you want a fine sliced or a fine diced, then just give the cord a few more pulls, and this is what I love. Love, love, love. Look at that. How easy is that? This supersonic chopper will do your homemade slushies, it'll whip cream, it'll do pancake batter, muffin mixes, it'll chop potatoes, carrots, sweet potatoes. If you want to hide kale and mushrooms from everybody, just wop them up in here, no one will know what they're eating, all right? <laughs> now, let's grab... Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. I've just got my Christmas tree sitting on the top of... Oh, a whole bunch of... Tupperware bowls. These are the Eco Plus bowls. Um, what they do is they take single-use plastic out of landfill and they take it out of the ocean. They treat it, remove all of the impurities, and they turn it into Tupperware food-grade products. So it creates a circular economy, all right? So what we've got happening in here, let's use this size bowl. And it's also heat-resistant. So in winter, you can use it as a soup bowl. You can pop your hot pasta and hot rice dishes in here. Um, I, I actually use... I, I do use those as soup bowls in wintertime. Um, oh, you could do a chilled, like a, a chilled soup. That would be awesome. All right, let's just grab our spatula. We'll throw in that onion. This is a whole onion. Oh, we won't grab the thin spatula, Peter. Let's grab a massive, lovely spatula. And it, I love this, the Tupperware spatulas because they see how one side is straight with a point and the other side has a curvy bottom to it? That can get right down into the, into the, the um, bottom of the product. There we go. How awesome is that? There is our red onion. Awesome. What we're going to do now is a few things. I've got some celery. Let's just remove that bit. Here's some celery. I'm just literally got my celery into there and I will, I've got a little jalapeno pepper. What I'm gonna do is just slice that in half and I'm gonna grab a, you know how you can get the, um, you can get a Tupperware, Tupperware have reusable cutlery that they come out with every now and again. Sometimes they're very easy, or what you can do is, I was looking for the spoon so I can show you how you can just run that through, but I think it's in the sink getting washed. So we will just literally just remove those seeds. Can you see that? Just remove those seeds, and there is our jalapeno. We just pop that straight into there. We'll do the same on the other side. Oh, a bit of onion skin. Let me know where you're watching from. I love knowing where people are watching from because we've, I've got um, an international following and so there's people in America, there's people in Scotland, there's people in England, the UK, Philippines, um, South Africa, hello, um, and of course, right across Australia. It doesn't matter where you live in Australia, you can use the link to place an order and the warehouse in Melbourne will deliver anywhere in Australia. How awesome is that? There we go. We've got our celery and our jalapeno pepper. Or jalapeno chilli. There we go. Here we 
go. Just going to give it that little bit of a freshness to it. How awesome is that? Just chopped up. Basically just minced up. When you're using this, it's a zero carbon footprint handheld blender. That will also make ice cream. <laughs> All right, so we've got that happening into here. Let's pop that into there. Somebody bring me some water. Okay. Let's pop that into there. Now, check this out. Let's get this parsley happening. And we're just going to use the entire lot of parsley. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, the entire lot. We'll have to do it in bunches. I have washed this and popped it through the salad spinner. Okay, so there's our parsley. Let's just remove the tops. We'll pop that in. Now the thing is the thing to remember with the the thing to remember with the supersonic chopper, there is a fill line. Now things like herbs and things just do little batches. Okay? And that way you won't have to stand at the bench. Oh, I've cut myself. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Chopping everything. Just pop everything straight into there. There is our... How awesome is that? Now, you can roughly chop this, or you can not roughly chop it. Um, I'm going to throw in the stems as well. So all of those stems filled with calcium, vitamin A, iron. We're going to pop them straight into there. All right. Pop that straight into here. And we will... Oh, we might need a bigger bowl. <laughs> All right. Isn't that always the way? <laughs> you always need to grab a big, the next size up than what you think you need because it always ends up bigger. I think I'm not alone there, am I? <laughs> All right. There we go. How cool is that? While we're, while that quinoa is in the microwave, check that out. That's our quinoa. Oh, there we go. That's our quinoa into here. I'm now. If I had put more water in there, I could then basically drain that off. But see how there's nothing to drain? It's brilliant. So all you have to do is just grab your. Just grab your spatula, and we will pop that straight into here. Oh, it's warm. And while it's warm, this is when I want to add in some lemon or lime and garlic, because that's going to absorb all of those beautiful flavours while it's warm, and it's going to carry it through the parsley. Um, Absolutely yum oh. So we will just basically just give that a bit of a rinse and um, stick that on the bench top. Now we grab our. How awesome is that? You with me so far? There's your onion, your celery, jalapeno. We've got um, two supersonic choppers full of parsley. We've got a third of a cup of quinoa with a cup of water that we did in our pasta cooker. And. What I'm doing now is going to grab some lemon. I'm going to grab my Tupperware bread knife. You know that with a serrated knife, when you use a serrated knife to slice anything acidic, it actually prevents the blade from blunting. Did you know that? All right. Let's grab our zest and press. We've got our... <laughs> there we go. We've got our lemon press. Pop the lemon cut side down into your zester. We'll pop that over into the sink and we will just dress this quinoa while it's warm. We'll pop that into there and while, actually, you know what I'll do? I will, I should have zested this beforehand. There's the zester that comes with the zest and press. So I'm just going to zest only half a lemon <laughs> because I've already juiced the other one and like, look how efficient that is as a kitchen prep tool. How awesome is that? There's no wastage. There's your half a lemon. Done, right? And we'll grab that other one. We're going to pop that straight into there, and we will. yum o, right? Then what we're going to do, can you see? There's the lemon zest sitting on the top there with the lemon in, in there. What I'm also going to be doing is just 
grab some garlic. I love fresh garlic. There is nothing like it in the world. I keep my garlic press in the garlic keeper so that I always know where it is. We're gonna grab a, some garlic. And what we'll do is, let's do, let's do two cloves because I love it, right? We'll just stick them straight back in here. I normally only buy garlic maybe once every four months, five months, and it lasts way longer in here because of the ventilation, and there's nothing to be kept with it. So it's just with its own family, which I'm absolutely loving. All right, so the, ze the garlic, ze garlic um, I don't know what it's called. Is it a garlic press or a garlic? I'm not sure. So we'll pop that into there. There is a few ways you can use this. Grab your garlic, you know the end bit? Stick that in here. And then what you're going to do is, I don't know if you can see this, what you can do is you just literally cut that off in there. So that removes the end of the garlic. You're going to pop that into there. Then we're going to crush that. That skin then just peels, literally, just peels straight off. There's my skin gone. And then we just pop that into there. Squeeze that into there. I grab the back of my knife. So not only am I going to extend the life of the knife, I'm also going to protect the garlic press as well. And so if you didn't see that, let's do it again. Grab the end of there. You just literally, we cut that. There we go. That gets the end bit off. We stick that into there. That crushes that. We remove the skin. I love fresh garlic. Um, there's no acidity regulator for me, no, uh, um, no preservatives. We'll stick that straight into there and we will, here we go, the back of the knife. How awesome is that? All right, now, a few cherry tomatoes. Did you see my last video? An entire punnet of cherry tomatoes will fit into here, not a problem. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do the whole lot. I just found orange um, cherry tomatoes because I quite liked the orange and went, oh my goodness, that's just awesome. We will, that's six pulls, let's do another few, grab the blades, just stick them upside down Miss Jane, and that's going to protect everything while it's sitting in the bench top. There is my cherry tomatoes all done, I'm going to grab my Tupperware spatula, I'm going to pop that straight into here. How awesome is that? And that just gets rid of everything down into the bottom, into there. And we will run that around in there. Can you see? Look at that. There's our cherry tomatoes. We've got underneath, we've got our red onion, some celery, some jalapeno. We've got that warm quinoa, um, a whole bunch of parsley, some lemon, some garlic, some cherry tomatoes. I'm now just going to fold that straight through, mix that up beautifully. It's like a quinoa tabbouleh. So... I should have popped it in the next bowl up, <laughs> the next size up, but that's okay. Can we see? Oh, you should smell this. Actually, you know what I've got? I've got some mint. I will. <laughs> Am I the only person that does this? At the last minute you go, oh, we should throw that in. And then you go, no, we won't bother. That's too much work. Well, at, with Tupperware, it's not at all. It's very easy. So let me just, I'll show you. We're going to pop this straight into here. Yum! And then we can have that as a, um, as a meal in itself, or you can have that with a piece of protein. Tofu, chicken, beef, pork, um, fish. Yum Oh, Then what we're going to do is just grab the little one. This is the little chopper. You know how, because sometimes you do need a different... Um, I could use the big one, but I just wanted to show you. I've got all this beautiful mint. I'm just going to grab... Just the tops of that, we'll pop them straight into there. I just wanted to show you, I use, I use the um, little chopper for when I'm doing, you know, nuts, fruit, Brazil nuts, macadamia nuts, they will chop up easily in here. I chop up sunflower seeds and pepitas and mix them in with the homemade muesli. Pop my oats in here if I've got the wrong oats. And of course, let's just grab oh, some mint. <laughs> The leaf was stuck up into the top, so it wasn't getting... <laughs> oh, 
All right, that's better. Can you see here? There's our mint. We will just toss that in just at the top. Just going to bring a little bit of lift to that tabbouleh. It's going to be beautiful. And then I can then seal that. And I've got my tabbouleh in the fridge. I can stack things up on top of that. Um, I can, you know, if I'm having people over tonight or tomorrow or the next day, I can prep that up. I can just pull that out. People can then just pop that. You can serve that on the table just like that. And people can help themselves. And that's going to be absolutely delicious. Absolutely. If you've got any questions or suggestions, I'm going to have some tabbouleh. I'm so hungry now. Let me know. And, oh, let me know. And I will definitely get back to you. I'm going to pop online and going to have a chat to everybody. Um, and... Until I see you next time, you know what you need to do? <laughs> Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll see you all another day. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.